everybody. I'm Nitin and today in this PSLE 2015 Paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 13. Okay, in my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there and think beyond the boundaries for really tough questions. So, let's jump straight into question 13. Question 13. So, this question is testing us on area and parameter. So this question is a rather simple question for part A. This question has two parts, part A and part B. I'll be going through part A right now and next part B, okay? So they have asked us to find the area of the triangle. The figure shows a right angle triangle. So they are asking us to find the area of the right angle triangle. Okay, so the so we need to know the prop we need to know the formula of finding the area of triangle. So area of triangle is equal to half times base times height so the base is 10 and the height is 24 so the base and the height when when the base and the height meet right it should make a 90 degrees then only it is considered as a base and the height then only the height is correct okay so this is correct so the formula is area equals to half times base times height like i said half times base times height and the half times 10 times 24 so the base is 10 cm and the height is 24 cm so half times 10 times 24 so you'll give us 120 cm square. So this is the answer for part A. Okay, so I hope you understand the answer for part A. Let's move on to part B. So part B is a harder question. Okay, so it's the same question on area and perimeter, but part B is a harder type. Okay, so Dinesh wants to cut such triangles from the rectangular piece so these are the triangles okay from the from the rectangular piece of cardboard 60 cm by 100 cm at most how many such triangles can you cut okay so i think for this question you need to visualize so let me draw the rectangle so this is the rectangular cardboard okay so first i'm going to draw this one tiny rectangle over here so this rectangle consists of two of these big triangles. So these triangles, I, I sh shrunk it and put it over here. So this is the 24 and this is the 10 over here, okay? So these are two tri triangles in one rectangle, okay? So now we got to ask ourselves. This one we can't use the simple way as finding the triangle's area. And then we find the rectangle, the big, big rectangles area. And then we just divide each other. That doesn't work because this is a, this is a solid figure. We can't just uh, fix them up together. So that is why. But this will only work for water when we, you know, the water, the liquids. This will only work for that when we take the area of the rectangle, divide by the triangle. This will only work for liquids. But for solids, it does not work. So... First, we can find how many six, how many pieces can he fit in the breadth. So he can see he can fit six pieces because he took sixty divided by ten, which is equal to six. So he can fit one rectangle, two rectangle, three rectangle, four rectangle, five rectangle, six rectangle. So he can fit six rectangles. And same for the length. So how many rectangles can he fit? So we must take hundred divided by twenty four which is equal to 4 remainder 4. So he can fit 4 rectangles. 1, 2, 3, 4. But then this 4 cm will be discarded because it, he can't use it anymore because he can't cut it little bit, little bit and then form a triangle. He can't do that. He can only discard it. So he just throw away. Okay? So the remaining piece inside here will be filled up with these rectangles over here. So basically, we take 6 over here, 6 times 4. Okay, we take 6 times 4 times 2. Why do we need times 2? Because each rectangle has 
two triangles in it. That is why we times two again. So six times four is twenty four. Then we times two, we get forty eight. So forty eight is the answer for part B. So I hope you understood my explanation for question thirteen. Okay, part A and B. So thank you and bye bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.